breaking news. Jake Paul is finally making his MMA debut this year. Um, and he signed with the PFL, which is honestly a wise place to start. Of course, the UFC, they're not going to sign him right away. And that's not a that's not really a good, safe place for Jake to start his MMA career, you know, going to the big leagues. Um, but the deal is with Jake Paul, what he's doing here is first he wants to box uh, Nate Diaz. And then he wants to rematch him in MMA, but in PFL. So he's competing with the UFC because even though, yeah, Nate is like unofficially retired, he's still, I don't know. I mean, he's a free agent, right? I'm not sure. But like Nate has been sort of the heart of that organization for a long time. Post Conor McGregor, Nate Diaz has been like the meal mover, UFC's biggest star. So that'd be such a huge loss if nate were to go to the pfl you know go from the ufc to the pfl i don't know man the ufc the, their ego might take a big hit from that <laughs> if nate actually takes this deal if nate um does the boxing match loses assuming he loses to the undefeated jake paul who's somehow beating everybody right now and then goes to the pfl um, but I like this though. I, I like this. I respect Jake for finally stepping outside his comfort zone. Uh, knowing what's going on with Jake right now, he'll probably beat Nate Diaz in boxing. Although I want to say Nate wins, it's Jake. I thought Woodley would beat him the first time. He beat Woodley the first time by decision and then knocked him out in the rematch. I thought Silva might have a chance and Silva lost. So. I understand the Ben win, but the fact that he beat Anderson Silva for crying out loud. Yeah, and Silva's a better strike. Well, I don't know. Boxing for boxing, is Anderson better than Nate? I'll say so. And he outboxed Anderson Silva. So, yeah, I reckon that he'll beat Nate in boxing by decision, I'll say. Um, but then they will go to MMA and Nate Diaz is obviously the more experienced mixed martial artist uh, who's better everywhere. I mean, Nate's kicks suck, but Nate Diaz can clinch him. Nate Diaz can take him down and Nate can use a jujitsu. And from there, Jake is gonna be lost on the ground. I don't care if Jake Paul is like maybe prepared a year to work his full MMA skills, it's not gonna be enough time. And a lot of these MMA fighters might have a field day with Jake Paul. Like everybody's gonna look to take Jake down and submit him. Um, but a lot of these guys can also use kicks on Jake Paul as well. You know, Jake has had the luxury of just boxing guys, but he's never had to go up against guys who can use their full their full tool set in MMA, like elbows, kicks, knees. And I'm kind of thinking a lot of guys who lost to Jake Paul in um in boxing a lot of his victims are probably gonna want to get that rematch in mma are we gonna see the ufs are we gonna see the pfl sign tyrone woodley uh anderson silva i don't know if anderson's gonna do that but i can see woodley like wanting like begging to join the pfl just to rematch jake in mma in which woodley would probably end up winning <laughs> if he didn't then yeah woodley's i mean he's done already but if he can't beat Jake in his own sport, then yeah, that's that's gonna that's gonna be a really really bad look for Tyrone. Worse than him just losing in boxing, which is more forgivable. Um, and then yeah, I could see Ben ask. Well, I don't know. Ben is done. Ben said he'd only come out of retirement for a Masvidal rematch, but they could you know give him good money to maybe take the Jake rematch in MMA. Uh, Anthony Pettis called out jake paul if nate isn't available he said he'll do it which i'm down even though pettis is washed pettis will win because pettis can kick nate or kick jake paul and jake is not used to dealing with guys who can use kicks on him and pettis can also take him down and use his ground game so we shall see how this goes i wish jake paul luck but looks like he's gonna take his first l um, not in boxing, although I want him to lose in boxing. I hope Nate whoops him. Uh, he'll take his first L in MMA, whether it be to Nate Diaz or whoever. Um, but one thing I do respect about Jake is that he is advocating for fighters' pay. He's fighting for fighters' pay. 
for fighters across the world, all organizations, but the UFC, since a lot of the fighters are underpaid. So I respect Jake Paul for that. I respect Jake, and I really hope he succeeds in that aspect. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. How do you guys see uh, Jake Paul doing in MMA? Do you think he'll get folded? Do you think he'll find any success? Uh, like and subscribe, and peace out.